So when Patrick Laine scored the 4 nothing goal with something like 14 shots on goal, I was already planning on making a video about this. Sound the alarm on that one because Jack Campbell in the net. I mean, the dude's last four games, his save percentage has started with an 8. It does not look good for number 36 for Edmonton tonight. We've gone over the big contract. Let's not talk about this time. But the guy who comes in and generally locks things down for the Oilers is Stuart Skinner. You look at his save percentage and you look at how he's been playing all season. Very steady, very stable. He's the guy who comes in. And if you ask Oilers fans, hey, who do you want in net for the playoffs? They're going to tell you Stuart Skinner. Stu, right? And I agree. I love him technically. Very, very technical goaltender. He's big. He moves good. He's agile. I'm a fan of Stuart Skinner. However... In a playoff series, you cannot have a situation like you just had today with the Oilers and the Blue Jackets. Now, I realize that Edmonton's worst fear is losing number 97 for any period of time. I get that. But up on the list right behind that has got to be both goaltenders turning into absolute Swiss cheese. That has got to be way up there for Oilers fans here, like it did tonight. Again, in the grand scheme of things, you only need one guy, whether it's Skinner or Campbell, to get hot in the playoffs. You run with them, and then you let 97 and 29 take it from there. And by the way, an absolute masterclass from Connor McDavid tonight. Like, just an amazing game from him. He was worth the price of admission, just him alone today, and still the Oilers could not take advantage of it. They lose 6-5. The final shots were something like 47 for the Oilers and 26 shots for Columbus, and Columbus ends up winning 6-5. What a waste of a masterful performance by Connor McDavid here. And again, even Connor can't bring you over the hump if the goaltending sucks like it did tonight. And I'm not saying it's going to for the rest of the season because me personally, I like Stuart Skinner. Like I said, I have faith in him. I think he's going to be the guy. But if he loses it for any period of time, I have zero faith in Jack Campbell to be able to carry the load and take the Oilers where they need to go here. I have zero faith in that. So Oilers fans better be praying for Stuart Skinner to be able to carry this type of load as a guy who is still very young and still learning how to be a regular National Hockey League goaltender here. And I fully realize that Oilers fans are going to come after me here and they know I'm a Flames fan. Oh, worry about your old goaltending situation. Markstrom and Vladar both not doing good. I'm fully aware. I'm not trying to make any comment on that. I actually want the Oilers to go far because I like seeing passionate Canadian markets get tons of NHL playoff games. I think that's the most entertaining place to have playoff games, in my opinion. So I want to see the Oilers go far, but this was a glimpse into the future here. If this keeps going like this, it's got to be one of the Oilers' worst fears if both goalies lose it. And it could very well happen with the tandem they have. And they got to put all their eggs in the Stuart Skinner basket and hope and pray, I guess, uh, which wouldn't be a terrible bet, but... Sometimes it's a wild card, as we saw tonight.